Hello, ako po si Pater Noel Smakel. Medyo hihinaan lang natin yung boses natin ha. Dahil nandito tayo sa loob ng Senate Chamber ng State of Hawaii. Ito nga sinabitan pa nila tayo nung kanilang mga bulaklak. Papanoorin natin kung paano nila ginagawa yung kanilang mga session dito sa Hawaii. Dito sa baba, nagmi-meeting yung mga dalawang dosenang senador ng State of Hawaii. Lima o anim sa kanila ay mga Pilipino. Nakausap natin yung mga Phil Am na mga senador dito sa Hawaii. At sinasabi nga nila na dumadami na ang mga Pilipino dito at lumalaki na ang kanilang impluensya. Pero kailangan pa rin nilang harapin ang hamon ng pagbali sa tinatawag nilang glass ceiling. We have in fact laid those tables and it just goes with competition as anything, you know, many Filipinos run for office, but you know, not everyone win. When I first ran, I had to make a decision, am I going to use my family Filipino name and just go as Donald Kim or Donald Mercado Kim and made that decision that, yeah, I am going to use my Filipino name. I am going to let people know that I am Filipino um, as well. Because growing up, There was a time where you didn't want to, people to know that you were Filipino. Why was <laughs> that? Oh, there was a stigma way back when I was growing up. You know, if you were Filipino, your pants was too high, um, you, you didn't know how to dress. Um, you know, I mean, there was a stigma as, as a child growing up, which I believe no longer exists as far as I know. We cannot rest away at, on, on our laurels. We have to continue to achieve more so that we can pave the way so that people can surpass what we've achieved. Yung dami raw ng mga Phil Am dito sa Hawaii ay pagpapakita ng magandang relasyon ng Pilipinas at Amerika sa nakaraang mga dekada sa kabila ng mga patutsyada ni Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte laban sa Amerika. Paterno S. Makel, Rappler, Honolulu.